na mheshimiwa rais sisi wakati wote tuko hapa sisi tulikuwa hapa tunafurahi tunaona kama tuko nyumbani your excellency mr president uhuru and uh, dear grand brother first of all allow me to begin by thanking you for your kind invitation to pay an official visit to your beautiful country the republic of kenya this is indeed a good opportunity for us to strengthen the existing bilateral ties of friendship and cooperation between our two countries i wish also to thank you the government and the people of kenya in general and the people of Kisumu in particular for the warm welcome and the hospitality extended to me and my delegation since our arrival to Kisumu. You have made us feel really at home. I have been many times, I have been many times in Kenya, but it is my first time to visit Kisumu. I am surprised by the beauty and the level of development of this city. Let me also extend to you, Mr. President, the government and the people of Kenya, the warm greetings from the government and the Burundian people. We are delighted that we still have today strong and uh, healthy ties between not only our two governments, but also between our two respective people. We are enjoying both sides these links between our two countries through investment, trade, and growing mobility of goods and people between our two countries. Excellency President, my visit is a good occasion for me and my delegation to congratulate you personally, the government and the people of Kenya on the occasion of the Madaraka Day. Today, we are happy to share with the Kenyan people this joy that can be read on our faces here. Excellence. I could recall the essential role of the Republic of Kenya in peacekeeping initiative in Burundi, the facilitation of trade through the port of Mombasa, the Kenyan invest investors who are already working in Burundi in collaboration with Burundian economic operators. The government of the Republic of Burundi fully appreciates the state of cooperation between our two countries. We hope that our agreements and the memoranda already signed will be effectively implemented for the mutual benefit of our respective peoples. We believe that the permanent joint commission between Kenya and Burundi remain the excellent mechanism to do so. Your Excellence, as you know, following the successful general election held last year, Burundi has regained peace, security, and stability. Burundi is no longer in the UN Security Council agenda and in the political agenda of the AU Peace and Security Council. I wish to take uh, this opportunity to once again thank you for your personal involvement in our recent political achievements and the role of your country, Kenya, in the Burundi peace process. In order to definitively reconcile the people of Burundi, the Through and Reconciliation Commission is doing an excellent job to allow Burundians to really know what happened in Burundi during the multiple crisis in the country. This is through that we're seeking today, we ensure that what happened in the past does not happen again 
in our country. On the economic field, today our effort is focused on the socioeconomic development of the country in order to improve the well-being of our population through the implementation of the National Development Plan of Burundi. This document is very important to us. It is serving as a, refer as a reference document for not only Burundians, but also for our international partners. In Burundi, we are committed to improve the business climate in order to attract as much as we can foreign investment. The new investment code is one of the most attractive codes in the continent. For example, the new code grants many advantages to national and foreign investors. The one-stop shop allows the creation of a new company in less than 24 hours. Beyond that, we have uh, fiscal and customs incentive and cheap labor force, etc. The business climate is improving every day as well in order to closely follow the improvement of the business climate I recently decided to plus the Burundi Investment Promotion Authority under the umbrella of the presidents. In the same vein, we have placed economic diplomacy in the center of our diplomatic strategy through four major pillars, namely foreign investment, trade, technology transfer, as well as the promotion of our infrastructure and tourism. So this visit is a good opportunity to invite Kenyan investors to increase their investments in Burundi. Our country is ready for foreign investor investment and we believe that now is the right time to do so. Waiting two, three years may be late. Kenyan investors could take advantage of many business opportunities in Burundi in several sectors such as agriculture, infrastructure, services, health, education, energy, mining, transport, tourism, banking, ICT, and others. Excellency, Mr. President, and my dear grand brother, we welcome the fact that our region is the best integrated region in Africa. But I must say that there is still room for improvement in order to complete the remaining integration steps. With regard to peace and security on the continent, we commend the excellent field work of the African Union mission in Somalia. Kenya and the Burundi troops are together in the ground and they are doing a great job. In this regard, we believe that any initiative aimed to reduce the AMISOM troops in Somalia must take into account the degree of the threat from the Shabab terror group in order not to lose the part of the territory already recovered by AMISOM. The country is contributing troops. Somalia, as well as the African Union, must be consulted on any plan to reduce troops in Somalia. At, global, at the global level, we reiterate our commitment to the principles of the chart of the United Nations in order to promote military terrorism based on the rule of law. Burundi closely follows and also attaches great importance to global challenges such as climate change, the reform of the UN Nation, Nations Security Council, the fight against terrorism, the issue of international migration, the implementation of the sustain, uh, sustainable development of, 
objectives and the COVID-19 mitigation. Africa's voice must be heard in all negotiations aimed at addressing the shared challenges. We believe that the international solidarity and the cooperation remain the right way to tackle those common challenges. Excellence. I would like to conclude by reiterating our health field that thank once again for your warm welcome and the max of attention extended to my, my, myself and my delegation since our arrival to Kisumu. I would also like to take this a good opportunity to invite you, Excellence, to pay a visit to Burundi on a date to be agreed Wonderful. through the diplomatic channel. Wonderful. Looking forward, we were we, we, looking forward to welcoming you in Burundi. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. God bless you.